set aside a moment to cry to Allah for your needs. Set aside a moment to cry to Allah for your needs. Cry to Allah for your needs. Ask Allah what you want and keep asking him and repeat it. In fact, while I'm speaking now, you may ask Allah for your needs. There is no fixed time during the fast. Any time during the fast is a blessed time or a more blessed time. But as you get towards the end, you know what? You have some du'as by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on the softening of your heart and the fact that you know you've just engaged in this fast for the sake of Allah, it is hoped that those du'as will plug in quicker than the others by the will of Allah. May Allah grant us good du'as. May Allah help us so that we are guided to which du'as are more important. And secondly, we are guided so that he accepts the du'as that are most beneficial for us. Sometimes we ask for things detrimental for us. Nonetheless, you will still receive a reward for having asked. But by Allah's mercy, he doesn't give you sometimes. So my brothers and sisters, we will also spend some time crying to Allah for our needs. Then set aside the time to say a few more prayers or to engage in a little bit more salah, a few units of extra prayer in taraweeh. Tonight we will be engaging in taraweeh here as well. May Allah accept it from us. And then moisten your tongue with some words of praise of Allah and His Messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just that sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is already moistening your tongue with something that will give a tenfold reward to you in blessings from Allah. Man salla alayya wahidatan sallallahu alayhi biha ashra. Whoever sends blessings upon me ten once, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says, Allah will bless that person tenfold, ten times as a result of this. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So moisten your tongue with the praise of Allah. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. All these words. Praise be to Allah. Glory be to Allah. And so many more in terms of adhkar. I'm just thinking of so many that come to mind. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, this is the evening. We ask Allah Almighty to grant us goodness. Like I said, there is a great possibility it being the 27th. Well, here we are. And with all these numbers, if your heart has been softened and you have promised Allah to effect a positive change in your life tonight, if you walk out of here, even if it was not Laylatul Qadr, I promise you, you have achieved more than anything else. Because for someone to be softened, it's only a sign of acceptance of Allah. The hadith says, if Allah uses one person to guide another, just one person, it's better than the whole world and whatever it contains. So imagine, if you yourself are guided, what will you achieve? The man who told you do good is already getting a massive reward. What about you who is doing the good? May Allah Almighty bless every one of us. Let's be very considerate this evening. It is a blessed evening. I've spoken a little bit. I've tried to mention the importance of your relationship with your parents, no matter who they are. And I've tried to mention a few things what to do tonight, some of the power of this night and how amazing it is, the decree that is actually detailed by Allah Almighty on a night like this. And I ask Allah to help us. We will be spending quite a few hours here together, inshallah. And as we leave later on, don't forget, Let's not lose the achievements that we have made, inshallah, through this evening. May Allah Almighty bless every one of us. I'm excited about being here with you and really witnessing this greatest iftar that I've actually attended in terms of it being the opening of a fast of Ramadan with 15,000 people here in the city of London. May Allah Almighty accept our fast and make us from those who are forgiven, not just on this night, but every night. And may Allah forgive us at the end of Ramadan as well and grant us a beautiful Eid.